carefully examine something this evening a lot of people ask but brother paul said we know in part what did brother paul mean by we know in part because it's important we clarify that brother paul's theology was the full truth it's important we clarify that the teaching of paul is epignosis and that is by ensuring that certain things he said are properly explained so that nobody hits you you know takes you off balance by saying but if you say paul's teachings are epignosis accurate precise revealed knowledge of the scriptures why did he say we know in part i remember a bishop who read one of my books in this country one of the bishops he read my books and then he called me on phone dr dr abel what do you mean what do you mean how are you speaking with such authority and finality you should leave room for flexibility because we all know in part because i said a believer cannot lose his salvation so he's not challenging that position by quoting we know in part how do you read now assuming paul knew in part you know that you're not part of that part if he says we know in part it means you are not part of that part remember he has already said i have laid the foundation full and final fixed he didn't say we are still laying the foundation so how do we solve this actually most times the problems with bible study and teaching are the chapters and most times verses most times punctuation because chapters verses and punctuations are bible interpreters somebody interpreted them for us and sometimes if you observe the way they did the chapters and verses some verses shouldn't end where they ended some chapters shouldn't begin where they began all right so we have the flexibility to be able to look at it again and make those adjustments and sometimes you find that there are what we call a syntax problem like you know punctuations and grammar and we've got to do word studies to come to an understand so let's quickly go to chapter 14 then we will come back to chapter 13 where the lacuna is so you see the way we are contextually looking at chapters because in bible teaching and bible study sometimes you have to read the preceding chapters not even verse before and verse after sometimes you have to read four or five chapters before arriving at the chapter where the issue is read another five chapters after then come back to the chapter where it is to be able to bring out what he because the later was one later the letter is one letter it's like i write you a letter dear dr gabriel and i write and write five pages then dr gabriel picks the letters and go later without reading and goes to page four of the letter and reads a paragraph he won't understand what i'm saying he is supposed to read from there and then i begin to build the thought of my communication and the thought will be graduating until it crescendos but if he just jumps to chapter page four he will be confused about what i'm talking about and that's why many people are confused about the bible because the book of romans is one later forget the chapters forget the verses it's just one later so if you really want to read romans you start from chapter one verse one then you read and graduate into what brother paul was saying to the church in rome the, the letter to Corinth, both first and second Corinthians, is one later. One later. You don't just pick a verse and run away. That's immorality. That's Bible immorality. You're supposed to read, read clearly and pay attention to what you read. And then he says, When there's knowledge without love, prophecy without love, we know in part. When there's knowledge without love, prophecy without love we know in part what do you mean we know Ginoskomeros. that we know in part is knowledge without love we know in part then we prophesy in part what will it mean huh? prophecy without love because he has already spoken about prophecy blessing the church he says you are prophesying in part 
you are prophesied that is your gift is a partial gift it is not full because the fullness of the gift is when it blesses others so when it is not achieving its intent even though the gift is there you are prophesying in part you know in part i'm teaching good tonight so if you have knowledge that is not blessing the church you don't care what happens to others he says you know in part part is a way of saying you are a babe brother paul's verbiage part is a way of saying you are a babe because it is the exact opposite of teleo perfect and mature so what paul is describing there is immaturity so what is paul teaching there spiritual growth if you are prophesying and you have knowledge without love when maturity comes prophesying alone will be done away it will not be prophesying to benefit when i was a child when i was a nepios i understood as a child i will eat food offered to idols i didn't care what impact it had on others you know one time a friend of mine came to this church years many years ago some of you remember the level to which we taught grace in that service was so radical that veils fall, fell off he got so excited he went to my office and carried a cap and wore the cap and came to preach with the cap and didn't care what happened to anybody and the criticisms were so much that night people are like does he have to wear a cap why is he wearing a cap we know that there is liberty but why is he wearing a cap in the church and all kinds of talks now that is knowledge without love so instead of it edifying it became an offense are we teaching here i said are we teaching here and he himself he was sweating under the cap so he was punished while punishing others me if you like eh wear hijab you know hijab the house are cloth that they cover only their eyes outside we are eat and preach i will be blessed i don't have a problem but when you walk in love you consider others who have not grown to that level of maturity that doesn't also mean you compromise god's standard see but you consider them in things that are natural in things that do not cause offense to the doctrine of christ i'm teaching good i said i'm teaching good he said i taught as a child i spoke meaning prophesy as a child but when i became a man remember in your understanding be men when i grow up what did i do i put away the same word kategio i did away with childish things that is i no longer know in part i no longer prophesy in part I no longer tongue in part i put away childish things then he says in verse 12 very tricky verse 12 of that same chapter first corinthians 13 12 very tricky verse put it up for me quickly but now we see through a glass darkly very tricky verse now i know in part he is referring to when he was a child ginosko 